So raising these birds in the last couple of weeks, I think they are three weeks old now, has been a hassle for me. And I'm going to expose my inadequacies to you guys shortly. So as they grow in size, their demand for food and water has also increased and that means that I have to go there and refill their drinkers about two times, at least two times a day. And a couple of times I also have to refill their feeders and that kind of eats into my schedule, into my daily routine in the way that I don't like. You know, I like to hone my mornings. Sometimes I have late nights, so I like to hone my mornings. I like to be able to get out of bed anytime I want. Sometimes I want to be busy in the office doing some soft work till around, say, 11, 12, and thereabouts. You know? And these birds are going to be suffering from these inadequacies. And trust me, if you're a solo farmer out there, you must have experienced something like this. You know, you are very sure, you are very certain that your birds will be out of water early in the morning, but then something just kept you back for about one hour or two hours before you could attend to them. And that's really bad for them. So you don't want that. For example, as I'm shooting this video, this is around past 11 a.m. in the morning. So it's already so late and they don't have water in their drinkers, the same thing with the brellas and the turkeys. So I have decided to bring them down here, you know. I've been saying that I'm reserving this place for the pullets I want to bring in, but I don't think I'm ready to cope again with all these things. So I'm just going to bring them here and raise them for a couple of weeks and see what we'll do. The brellas will be ready by September ending at most, and the turkeys will also be going to their rightful owner by mid-October. So we'll be left with these noilers and I'm sure I'm going to be giving some of them out and just be, we'll be left with a few of them. And at that time, I might be able to put them on free range in the other compound or maybe just put them inside the cage here. At that time, I'm going to decide what to do with them. So at that time, we'll be able to use this place for the pullets. But until then, I'm going to bring these guys here. So what am I trying to say? If you want to be super effective in raising your birds, especially broilers, you want to get yourself some automatic drinkers. Yeah, this one is so dirty, it's been abandoned for a while, but I'm gonna be transforming it into a super clean drinker shortly. And with this, you don't have to worry about your birds going out of water, as long as you have water loaded in your water tank. Moreover, refilling this is pretty easy. All you have to do is open the valve that brings in water into the tank, and when it's full, you just close it. Unlike the drinkers that you have to carry from one point to the other, cleaning and filling all the time. So I started cleaning this place. I had to get out the shavings and I'm going to wash it with my pressure washer and you know, just disinfect it. And at the end of today, it should be ready for use by tomorrow.